question is, do you feel good about that? Not necessarily. But yeah, why like, not? As they're closing, as they're closing, you know, United Airlines, uh, uh, Airlines door, they're like, okay, everybody, have a good time. We'll <laughs> we'll see you when you get back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem like that would be a process you could not automate. Uh, up to take off and land. I mean, you know, I've, I've been in cockpits before where, you know, I've, I've been allowed to sit in the jump seat like a little kid. Aww. Um, and I said to the pilots one time, I was, I was with them, and I said, so why don't you guys use autopilot? And they just looked at me like, you dumb... <laughs> and I'm like, what? And they said, this is autopilot. And I'm like, really? Because you guys are working a lot. <laughs> this isn't very automatic. All right. And they're, then they they're, they're, they're constantly doing stuff. And then they turned around and said, Glenn, ever seen a grown man naked? Uh, <laughs> a weird turn of the road. It was weird. Strange. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the driver is amazing because essentially everybody gets the prime handicap spot. You pull up to, to a shopping uh, z l l l mall, mm -hmm. and you just say, all right, go park, park BMW, and, and you just walk right into the store, and it goes, parks, find a spot. It doesn't matter if it's on the other side of the lot at Christmas. Yeah. I'm wondering what you would say to uh, a, a young player coming out of college, uh, say this spring, uh, who doesn't get drafted, who doesn't get taken to the combine, or, or, or he gets pushed, you know, deep into the seventh round, uh, and he's feeling kind of down about his his chances. What would you say to him about uh, what they need to do and how to do it? Um, not to get discouraged. That the fact that you're even on a team is a blessing within itself. And take that anger and take that resentment and use it as motivation. Use it as fuel each and every time you're out there on that.